Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. This, this, this is no good, we can't be having these so close to the edge of the field, it's just going to end up causing problems. Dick is in the wrong place. Ooh. There. Alright. There's no more. Job done. There we go. Right. Now I can finish my first jaunt around the field. And we can head out and start on the second jaunt around the field. That's... How is that so far into the field? Seriously, how is it so far into that? That makes no sense. That really uh, that makes no sense at all. How is it so far in there? I, I don't even know if I'll be able to get that with the painting. I mean, I'm going to try. Because I don't think it should be there. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. It put up very little resistance. There's another one just there. Let's get rid of that. I did say before I was just going to leave that. Didn't think it really mattered. Apparently it does matter. The part of me that was going to leave it changed its mind. That part can be a bit of jolly. Oh, I thought that was stones. It's not. It's mushrooms. Mushrooms are fine. We'll leave those. We can, we can leave the mushrooms in. We, we're not going to worry about them. And... I'm hoping that twice round is going to be enough. We will just be able to gather up the rest of the bits of stone that are left out. I've only done once and a bit round the field so far, and I've already got 600 litres of stone. If he'd left all of the field stone on when we did this, I dread to think how much we would have wound up with. Like There would have been tons and tons and tons of stone that we would have been picking out of here. It would have taken... We wouldn't have used this one. I would have gotten another stone picker and we'd have done something different. We'd have done it a little bit differently. Um, there is actually a mod or two now that have been released. I think Black Sheep Modding did one that's got a much wider pickup area on it. And that would have been probably a good one. I haven't got it active on this map at the moment. But, um, yeah, so there's that one that was released and there's a few other ones as well plus we've got the work speed increases and maybe we could just have like a, a fleet of them working in the field or something like that so then we can really start going all out and stone picking except i don't want to do that in this series with no real burning desire to go and do anything like that i think we've made some decent progress i'm ignoring the sticks down there i don't think they're quite far enough into the field to cause us any problems so i feel Confident that I can ignore them. Confident-ish that I can ignore them. I'll probably end up going back there one day soon and removing them anyway. But for now, we're not going to. Because I can't actually remember. They're somewhere along the bottom edge, but I don't want to go searching for them. And there, it's about it. We've got one there. Is there any more? Nope, that's it. Okay, that is all of the stone. We have done that bit. So now we're ready for planting, but it is ten past three in the afternoon. So we're not going to plant now, and next month we'll be worrying about selling stuff. So we're going to need to sort of focus on that. Let's bring the stone in here, and we'll go and tip it on our little pile that we've got. Although this is going to be the last of the stone tipping outing onto the piling. And... um. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. I might just leave it here as decoration, actually. Right, that's, that is quite a cool little pile that we've got. So that can all go out there. Just like that. And bring you back. Let's just hose this thing off. There we go. Forward a bit. Drop them down there. And I'm not going to do anything else with this tractor for now. No, I'm not. Um, we'll want it a bit later on for doing some other work, but we, we're not going to worry about it now. Uh, the last time we did grass, we used the slurry spreader, so we won't be using that. We'll be doing the fertilizer spreading. That's probably going to be our next job that we do. 
Cows we don't need to worry about now because we have actually filled them up with 100,000 litres because I altered the mod. Um, but yeah, the amount that we had available for food for the cattle was way too small. And several of you did comment on that saying, that, yeah, you agreed. Nowhere near enough. Um, we definitely want a whole load more than that. I agree as well. Like, that's, that's not right. We, we definitely need more than that. Let's go up here. How are they doing? So we've gone 24 hours, and they're now on 67,666. So they're using 30, 32,334 litres. Which is quite a bit. 32,000 litres per day. Uh, there's nothing. I don't need to go and get any more cows or do any changes. I just need to feed them, so we'll do that. Start up, back this one up here, and then we're focusing today on. Let me do that one out. There we go. Focusing today on selling our furniture. Now, normally that happens later in the day when we're doing that. So let's have a look at the moment. So at the moment we're on six thousand five hundred, which is quite high. That price is dropping down. There's going to be a thing that... Let's go over to the truck a minute and we'll stop here. So I'm going to speed the time up now. And I go to 360 like that. And I just start watching this time. The 491, 88. Okay, that's coming way down fast. So possibly last night would have been the best time to sell stuff but at the moment the prices are dropping they're not going up so we're just gonna take what we can out of these factories so let's fire you up i'll ignore that full load of furniture right there and instead right now i'm just gonna go round past all of these start that one up around them like this if there's more that get spawned in a minute then we'll do something with those up around there and then back yes yeah, so we got one has spawned over that side there's not loads of them some of them may have one extra pallet to chuck out there's one extra pallet I'll leave the pile up there. I'll go and get these extra pallets here. So I got three pallets on the one at the top. Plus I got these. We'll take this lot here and we will sell this immediately to the shop. And then once we've done that, we will come back, get the full lot, and we'll get that to sell as well. So then we're going to want a seed drill. We've already bought a plow. We've got a tractor that can do the work. So we're going to want a big seed drill, one that can get across the land pretty quickly. We're going to need a roller as well. That's another important aspect of this that we're going to want. Let's stop the collection now. <clears throat> so we're going to want a roller. We're going to want a seed drill. Uh, we've got a plow. I don't think we're going to want anything else because I'm going to be using a direct drill. We've got a fertilizer spinner. I need to put... I need to do... I do need to go down there and we need to put lime on that field. That's something that we're going to need to do. But all I need to actually do is put a bit of lime into the spinner and then let the hired help carry on and the hired help will do all of the lime on the field that we need. We're not going to need to worry about like getting a load extra on there. I could take the slurry tanker down there and do pretty much the same with that one except that we've got that one set so that it just removes the slurry from our main store over that side so we're on 6,500 per thousand litres for this today just slowly let that start coming through like this there we go gently does it I'm missing that pallet at the front there we go, that's better what I don't want to happen is I don't like it giving me a final number right at the end. Uh, well, I, li I like it to give me the final number at the end. I don't like it to miss a bit and then give me a number partway through. There. Now everything sold. 226,796 euros. That's not bad. 227,000 euros. 
Let's get rid of those straps. Now I'll go back round and I will get the next lot. I realise that I've got enough money here to be able to pay off my loan. Just, well, I will have when I get the next lot. We'll have enough to pay off the loan in full. But I want to get a combine. I need a combine, I need a seed drill, I need a roller. Um, is there anything else I need? I don't think there's anything else I need. However, the combine is going to be very, very expensive. The combine is going to take up most of the money that we're going to um, get now. So I'm going to buy that one first. Then we will see about being able to buy a seed drill. The roller... Again, it's going to be very, very expensive and slightly tricky. We'll sort of see about that as well. Let's move on there. Right, we'll dump all of this on here. Yeah, I was hoping it would get everything. Right, so we've reached everything there. We've got 50,000 litres of furniture on board. Fan schmastic. We'll just carry on round our road this way. Get that back to the shop. So we had 226,000 for the last lot, and it was a full layer plus a little bit. So I'm guessing uh, um, it's not going to be double. So what are we looking at? If it's not double, I'm probably going to end up with uh, 400,000. Another 180,000 on top. Just under. 380,000. I'm guessing 380,000 for this. Now, I could actually work that out properly in my head because I got 50,000 litres. That's 50 times the 6,500. 50 times uh, 6 would be 300,000 plus another 50 times the 500. Um, 300. 50 times 6. 5 times 6. 6 times 6 is 360. 50 times 3, 6, 6, 6, 36, 300 and 336,000, 340,000. I'm saying 340,000 is what we're going to get for this load. It's not going to be 400 at all. 350,000 ish. We'll see. This is why I need to go through slowly. So that it unloads everything before it gives us a figure. Very important that we do this. We've got to get this right. We do not want a premature figure on there. Cannot have anything happening too early. Go on. Gently does it. Ease it through. There's... Okay, that's all of it. And... 324,000. I was out by a little tiny bit. 324. So that gives us 720,000. Let's shut you off a second. And we'll go in here and we'll have a look. So the combine for me is the most important part. We've got to make sure we get the right combine. Now, I have no intention of harvesting that huge great big field down there with a Russell Mash Nova 330. That's not going to happen. What I want is... I, I want to take this to a whole other level. I want to take this to a Stevie level. So we've got a Lexian here by Stevie. We've got a class, also Lexian, but done in the yellow, I think. Now, class in the US is done in yellow, and that does look like US as well, um, with the, the open bucket on the top. Oh, wait. Different color. Design class one. <clears throat> Oh, I see. There's a couple of different ones there. Where's the capacity standard extension? Oh, uh, right. It's just given it, you, you got the options on here, see? So you can actually just paint it up for yourself if you want to and get it looking like that. I believe class in the US is that color. Is it also that colour in Australia? I had a feeling it is, but I, I don't actually know. I don't know if it is or not. So this one here has a capacity that goes up to 240,000 litres. So this one's properly been stevied. This one over here has also been properly stevied. Um, this is the Trion 750. This is the Lexian 8900. The Tucano... 
I don't want a Tucano. I don't want any of these. I think I've got some John Deere's that have been stevied as well. We've got all kinds of options. There's that one there, the twin screw. That's 29,000. There's another John Deere that's been edited by Stevie. Right. I've made my decision. My executive decision is this one right here. The Class Lexian 8900 by none other than Signor Stevie. And we've got wheel setup. So we've got standard wide tires right there. Design, you can have that outlined or you can have it filled in. Wheel brand, uh, capacity is standard. Extension 1 gives me an ex uh, 60,000. Extension 2 is 120,000 litres. Extension 3 is 240,000 litres. And that's maximum. So that is putting the total price at 500,000 euros which is utterly insane and ludicrous. We don't have different options for tracks and things. It's just staying at that. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, let's go for a new license plate on here. Um, I feel that we should pay homage. Why does it do that? I press E and it jumps to the next one. It really irritates me when it does that. Man. Really, really irritates me. There's no reason that it should do that. Stevie. You know what? We're going to call him Stevie 007. Because he is actually English. And at the moment he's like a secret agent. Doing all the things that the rest of us wish we could and we can't. So, um... It's okay that. We now have the class combine right here. With Stev IE007. Stevie007 on the back. Right, I'm quite happy with that. Let's buy this bad boy. 504,000 euros. That leaves me with 200,000. So I've got you. I now want to go with the combination. Uh, that one is giving me 10k. Oh, that's the combinations I'm looking at there. So I don't want to do that. I actually want to go here. I'm going to go to headers, and then I need the actual Stevie headers rather than those ones. So we've got, there's a case, IH, a Terraflex one, because I don't think the class ones uh Draper headers, which does make it a little bit more difficult for moving them around. Convio Flex 1380. 1380 HS. What's the HS? What's the difference between the two? Right, that's got the belts on the bottom of it there. And that one's a 10K. This one here is at 18K, so we sped that one up. High, I'm sure. Oh, hey. HS, high speed. Uh, that must be uh, Stevie Code. HS is just high speed. That's what he's put on there. Right, now I'm with you. Now I understand. So we're going for the big header, 13.8 meters. If you have a look down here at the Draper headers, uh, there's a Terra Draper one there. It's 13.7 meters. That's pretty much the same. Uh, do I want to go with that one? The downside of this one is that I've got to drag it around on a separate header. A header trailer. Whereas these... This is a 45 foot, and that's a 40 foot. This one here, I could turn this into the class colours, couldn't I? I just don't have class written on the side. And I've got case written on the side, and I don't want that. New Holland, John Deere, ideal. Oh, I do have class. Classy. Okay, so I can actually have this as a class header. Let me just check that I'm doing this. I am doing that the right color. Okay, that's excellent. So I want you right here and although we're going to have a black reel on this one instead of a red reel the, the reel should be red 
You know what? No, I'm I, I'm rebelling against this idea. I'm utterly rebelling against this idea. I'm going to go with that one. I am going to buy the proper header because it's red. We, I want that red real. That's that's what I'm after on this. Now I've also got the Stevie version at high speed, which is 18k. But then I've also got my own additional speed increase that I can put so I can have a combine in theory doing 28k across the field I don't know if it's going to properly be able to harvest with that we may end up having to sell it back and try and do that again so that's 90 grand right there that does mean I'm going to need a header trailer which is this one here which is a huge big old header trailer uh, is there any class header trailers not sure about that but now i know which one it's rec the game is recommending that i get that one let's have a look i got that one that's way too short i see so the game's not going to recommend a class header that's something different um what are you for Ah, that's if we decide to go with corn. So it was the Nardi there, and it's that one that it's recommending that we use. It's a big old trailer, that is. Right, well, in which case, we're going to go with <clears throat> class green on there. And what's class red? That's Massey. I think Russell Mash Red seems a little... I don't think there's a lot of difference in it, to be honest. And then white. It's got to be absolutely white. Does that seem about right to you? I think that seems about right. Okay, so we'll buy that bad boy there. Okay, we've now got our combine. Next on the list, I need to have a seed drill. And that one I do actually want to buy. So this time it's cedars and we've got these small ones here. It says this one here is a six meter spread. This one is eight meters. This one over here, which is a bit more like it, is 15 meters. This, however, is not a direct drill. It means that we would have to cultivate first. This one is a direct drill at eight meters wide. And then we've got these big bad boys over here. Although, actually, that big bad boy there is only 8 meters wide. Which surprises me. So, maybe... That's 8 meters. That's 8 meters. That plants everything. Oh, that's... Th those. Oh. We've got several options because they've been stevied. Uh, terminate it. That's 18 meters. These are a bit too big. They're not really what I'm looking for on this. It's just going to be too big and cumbersome, I think. Well, a 30 meter one is probably going to be too big and cumbersome. But what else have we got? 18. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, 18. I mean, that one there is... 15 meters wide so this right here at eight meters wide that's way that's way there's like half the size of it this one is eight meters wide i want an amazon um condor again that's what i'd really like the amazon condor if we could have one of them that'd be great that's 16 you are the 18 meter one all right, let's go with the 18 meter wide. What's the difference between these two? One does 28K. I'm just going to buy that one at 28K. I'm not going to change it any further. And then we'll get that one as well. So although this isn't really what I want in here, I think it may still work. That's a beast of a machine. Look at that. Are we even going to be able to make this work? At least it'll get the job done fairly quickly. Actually, the one thing I didn't realize... I have 113,000 euros. I'm not going to be able to buy this thing. 
I'm going to have to lease it. All right, well, that's fine. We can lease it. We can we can test it and lease it. Uh, 28K on there. I'm happy to stick. You know what? No, no. Let's <laughs> let's push this on up. Let's let's push the boat out here. That's what this is about. Let's push the boat out. So we're going to lease that 30 38k. Oh, this is going to be glorious. 10 grand to do that. 10,000 euros. And then I got you in here. This one doesn't really matter if it's got uh, speed. I want uh, capacity on there, so it's going to go with the big extension. 30,000 liters. It doesn't do. Fertilizer as well, is it? Oh, yes, it does. It does both. And I'm going to lease that one as well. Yep, 5,300. There. Right, that's what we'll be using to do our planting. I'm going to take this truck back and put it over by the other. Its planting's going to be next month. So I've got, I've got my combine, at least. We'll do something with the combine, and we'll move that down to the bottom. But not quite, we're going to have to shunt stuff around there a little bit in a minute and we'll so we'll take the combine and we'll put that down the bottom and then that's going to be ready i need to get lime on the field so there's another little job that we've got to do what else do i need to do it's gonna be it i only need to get lime on the field at the moment and well i do need two lots of fertilizers so we'll just have to check the fertilizer situation on the fields as well Bring you to a complete halt right there. I'm not worried about loading these up with trees anymore. We'll just kind of leave that. Um, please start the engine. Right. Let's go with this one. Uh, how are we going to do this? I think if I pick that header up first... Move it out of the way. Drop it down. Right. I am back in the recording. Well, you didn't know I was going to I said. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.